it, it, it's Bird Talk TV. It, 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 they're rocking with the best. Ah! We give you the facts with no shade. Wise and Mill. Keep, keep keeping it real all damn day, every day. Man, what you got to say about him? Well, you know, um, I got a lot to say about him, man. You know, and I just want to start off by saying, you know, in today's world, man, in today's society, man, there's a lot going on, okay? There's a lot going on. And we have to get together as a group okay as a community as we keep always as we're always stressing we got to get together as a community because we are going through some very difficult times but with, you know in saying that man let me let me just go ahead and keep on keep on the topic at hand china mac china mac china mac man i'm telling you right now man i, I i'm really you know disappointed, disappointed. Yeah, disappointed man definitely. i'm really disappointed man because real, you made some real. statements the other day on vlad well not the other day you made some statements a while back on vlad tv you made some statements on the quiet room okay oh. uh that i did not feel were adequate statements to make all right mm. um to me you're filled with hypocrisy man you're a hypocrite real definitely. Real. you're a hypocrite and Get em. <laughs> i'm gonna tell you why you're i think and i believe that you're a hypocrite all right. The reason why I think and believe you're a hypocrite is because of the statements that you made on Vlad TV. OK. He asked you if you use the N word and you admitted to it. I have to say you did admit to using the N word. OK. But you make it seem like it's OK. OK. I know you say you don't say it in your songs, but it's, it's still in your lyrics. It's in your lyrics. All right. Whether you're not saying it or whether you're saying it in a chorus, it's in your lyrics. Definitely. OK. It's in your lyrics, and that's what we're talking about today, you know. And when you made those statements on Vlad TV, they were it was shady. Okay, first off, um, let me just let me just tell you what you said. Okay, you stated on Vlad TV that you use the N word, mm -hmm. use it, but you try not to use it, to use it, but you still use it. That's what you said on Vlad TV. Okay. That's what you said on Vlad TV, okay? I heard it too. I definitely heard it. He definitely said that. Okay? And then you continue to go on with, uh, you know, uh, how you, you try not to use it and how you're trying to, you know, fix, you know, to, to get out of using it, but you're still using it. And the biggest problem I have with you, China Mac, okay? The biggest problem I have with you, again, you went up to a young man, a little, a little dude, little man, little, little, little pimp, little pump, Okay? And you told him to remove the video. And why did you tell him to remove the video? Because you felt that what he said offended you. Okay? It offended you. Okay? Hey, yo, little pump. Let me tell you something, boy. You're a little kid, so I'm just going to scold you like the little boy you are. You know what I'm saying? When you make these fucking Asian jokes, you pull your fucking eyes, you say all this Ching Chong shit, motherfuckers feel disrespected by that. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to put some respect on my fucking culture, on my motherfucking people. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't going to make those fucking statements without getting fucking checked. If ain't nobody else going to say something to you, I'm going to say something to you. So this is what the fuck you going to do, little boy. You're going to take that fucking video the fuck off of your page, right? No, goddamn. And then you make these statements and say that culture is not a race it's an environment bro man he sound real stupid when he bro said man that. let me let me let me let me enlighten you for a moment okay i don't know if you know what the definition of culture is right but let me enlighten you all right praise to him brother <laughs> culture is the customary belief social forms and material traits of a racial religious or social group okay Definitely. and let me give you let me go a little bit deeper racial OK, let me define that for you as well, because it's apparent that you don't know what that means. Huh. Racial relates to a race. OK, so when you make the statement, you say culture and race are not one and they're separate. You're wrong, brother. I don't want to say you're wrong, brother, because you're not a brother. You're not a brother. You're wrong. Yeah, OK, they are not. The, culture and race are two in the same. OK, culture and race are two in the same. OK. And and, real, and, and that's where you real. that's where you become you kind of get twisted up in your words. You got real twisted up in your words because you didn't realize what you were saying. And I'll have another problem. Okay, I got a long list of problems I have with you, China Mac. Okay, 
Well, well, well. Let me say one thing before you, before you start drilling China Mac. You know okay, what I mean? go ahead, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like I said, we up here, we got our we got our protection on because we know we're gonna get some flack from this. All right, you know what and mean? I got a flak vest on. Right, this is a this is a flak vest. Right, and it's and it, what it's used for is to take shrapnel. Okay, and I'm ready to take all the shrapnel. Definitely. You feel me? We ready to go to war. Let's go. You know what I <laughs> mean? And, but the, the the crazy thing about this here is that he he actually think he know what he's talking about. Cause at the at the point of time when he told when he made that video, the little pump when he said, "Oh, you want to put some respect to my culture? What you is bird man now? You want to be little baby? Come on, man, tighten up, man. You ain't really living that life, man. You probably done did a little bit or whatever, and and, and hung out with some you so, with some so called thugged out dudes or whatever, man, but." And all actuality, man, you ain't living that life for real, for real. You trying to get money like everybody else trying to get money. Because when that pressure come, you ain't going to be ready for you it. You ain't ready, man. You know what I mean? So just you calm ready down, for man. Calm down. That's all I got to tell you. Calm down. Because when shit hit the fan, is he going to be there standing, waiting on that pressure? <laughs> Let me know. Word. Finish him. It's, it's Word crazy, is man. Give him some more, man. Give him some more what you read All about. All right, let me, let me give man. you a little bit more, okay? Because, you know, you, you got to see when you're making these statements, China Mac, man, you got you to gotta be able to, you know, keep up with what you're saying, all right? That's the first and foremost thing. Keep up with what you're saying because it'll come back around and bite you Damn. hard, Real okay? Right. And I was listening to The Quiet Room. I went ahead and listened to Vlad, uh, Vlad's TV and also Ndamas Live. He has a video on his channel. We're at a minute and 50 seconds into the video, okay? Now, remember, culture is not a race. Culture ain't about race, right? That's what you said. Huh. That's what you said on the Quiet Room interview, okay? Definitely. You said culture is not race. It is an environment, it's okay? It's not color. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Culture is not color. Culture is environment. Culture is how you was raised. Culture was the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You could so you're basically saying it's your your environment is what makes you, okay? Regardless of using the N-word or anything like that. But let me let me go ahead and enlighten you, or not enlighten you, let me go ahead and repeat verbatim of what you said to Little Pump on Damas Live. It was on his channel. It might have been recorded somewhere else, but let me go ahead and say it. You're going to put some respect on my fucking culture, on my motherfucking people. You're going to put some respect on my fucking culture, on my motherfucking people. At a minute and 50 seconds, huh. China Mac, huh. <laughs> you say, put some fucking respect on my culture and my people. Yep. Okay? It ain't no, if ain't nobody else going to say something to you, I'm going to say it. Okay? Take that fucking video down. That's what you said, China Mac. Okay? No, That's you, what you said. So, you said that. apparently, you were highly offended. And then you used culture and people together in the same sentence. So, you know that culture... And people and race is the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to put some respect on my fucking culture, on my motherfucking people. You know? All right? So stop trying to segregate the two. It's the same thing, bro. Exactly. It's the same thing. It don't, it don't, it don't matter that you grew up in the, in the, in the, in the city. All right? And, and this is the problem, you know? The N-word has gotten out of control, people. The N-word has gotten out of control. And we could take some callers at any time. Y'all can chime in if you want. You can chime in and, 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 and give your... Your, 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 um, your testimony if you want or whatever you want to call it or you can give your opinion if you want but man this is the problem in today's society okay we, we are filled with uneducated minds out there trying to educate those that are not educated or that need guidance definitely and, and we definitely want to know how y'all feel is the n word is being misused or do you think people <laughs> is like you know other races taking advantage of the n word when they use it like we want to, we want to get y'all opinion on that, cause you know what I mean. Right now, a lot of people that's in the rap game, you know what I mean. Different cultures that says it, you know what I mean, in their music, and you know some people accept it, some people don't. Especially the guys that's you know older, you know what I mean, the old school, the whole heads that don't appreciate when other cultures say it. That's and right. It's just you know we just want to see how y'all feel about that, and uh, try to get an understanding on that aspect you know what i mean because me personally you know i hear it all the time and pff, do i care about it damn right you know what i mean do i do i accept somebody calling me that heck no that's right and china mac for you to be praising yourself that you made an 18 year old take his video down man what that says about you as a man exactly now you got me want to say ching chang chong chong 
Make me put this video down now. How about that? You know what I mean? You know? Come on, man. Tighten up. And, you know, and like I said again, you know, it, 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 at the end of the day, this word has been around for a very long time, for centuries, all right? This word has been around for centuries. And that's the part that I think a lot of people don't understand. Exactly. Okay? A lot of other races don't understand, you know? I mean, I'm not, I don't want to make this a, a, a racial thing but i just want the people to understand the word itself okay it brings a lot it's it's a lot of suffering a lot of chaos families being broken apart there's a whole there's a multitude of different things that come behind the n-word okay it's a very derogatory statement made towards african americans okay black people if you want to call it like that so when china mac man when you use these terms all right you need to stop talking in second person first off okay Take up a book and understand what second person is, okay? Let me give you an example. On Quiet, quiet Room, you're describing uh, African Americans because we're, that, that, that whole conversation was about the N-word, okay? You're describing us as people, other people, group of people, y'all, them, okay? Just say it, man. You, you Stop speaking tongues. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> speaking first person all right if you Spit know what that out. means spit it out <laughs> and i'll play the video for you you i'll, I'll let everybody know y'all can go down in the, dire, in the in the description box and i'll put everything and lay it all out there for you so you can see exactly what i'm talking about okay and there's three videos there's four videos out there matter of fact that i could play for you and show you what he said matter of fact let's go ahead and do that right now hey yo little pump let me tell you something boy you a little kid, so I'm just gonna scold you like the little boy you are. You know what I'm saying? When you make these fucking Asian jokes, you pull your fucking eyes, you say all this ching chong shit, motherfuckers feel disrespected by that. You understand what I'm saying? You gonna put some respect on my fucking culture, on my motherfucking people. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't gonna make those fucking statements without getting fucking checked. If ain't nobody else gonna say something to you, I'm gonna say something to you. So this is what the fuck you gonna do, little boy. You gonna take that fucking video the fuck off of your page, right? No, goddamn. But you got different people in down south. That word is different. You understand what I'm saying? Like that, it it, it holds different meaning. It holds, and when you're trying to make music, you're trying to cross. You're not just trying to stay in New York City. If you're just trying to be a local rapper, then fine. But it's so now when he told me that, I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm not trying to hear that shit. But I thought about it. Okay. I went home. I thought about it, and I was like, let me ask you a question. Let's, I'm gonna get straight to it. So let's just be talking about the M word. You noticed that. You heard that I was friends with an Asian guy named TMS. Yeah. Who, who, who we consider that you may, a lot of you may consider that's not all there. TMS said that he had dinner with you or lunch with you or whatever. And I told you this on the phone. I'm going to say it again. He said he had dinner and lunch with you and you said something. I don't know what line you used, but how he delivered the message to me is that China Mac said that. What just happened, bro? What? You know what just happened, bro? What? Lil Pump just took the video down. Yeah, nigga. He know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know who made that happen? Yeah. Huh? Respect the culture. Respect the culture. That's a fact. Who wants to know what the fuck me and Lil Boy I said to Lil Pump? All right. Little Pump came to the, the city. The city I'm from. I'm from New York City. So he came to the joint. So I made it my business to pop out. Um, he had security with him, but uh, the security knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? So the security let me come through, and um, I popped up on Lil Pump. I think he was really surprised to see me. He wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't know that the security was gonna let me come through. Me and me and my guys. He didn't know that he, he was gonna. So when he when I came up in his face, I think at first he just thought I was a fan, but then I think after like a couple seconds he realized who I was. And it just so happened at that time, the DJ shouted me out and shit. So I think it clicked right there, power. I leaned in. I was like, "Yo, bro, nothing personal, bro. I ain't got nothing against you. you know what I'm saying nothing personal against you. I ain't got no static with you. you know what I'm saying." You said some disrespectful shit, and I was just talking for my people. That's it. But you fucked up. You fucked up big time. You know why? Because 
because of what you said, there's a ban on Little Pump in China. What that video was okay. saying is that uh, all the Chinese people boycott Little Pump. You know what I mean? They're not supporting his music anymore. He can't go over there and, you know, do tours over there. And the chain that he got, uh, he got to bring it back on something. He want to bring it back. I I'm not sure on that case well, what happened with, with that. But, you know, still, you know, it's just crazy how, you know, it just make it it make, it make it makes us look bad. Straight up. It yeah, makes us look it bad. It does. <laughs> you, got, you got an Asian guy. Going to a black man with his group of friends, telling him to take a video down because he feel offended. Well, guess what? If that was my video, I'd tell him, man, hey, man, go fuck off, man. I don't know, it's going to stay on there, and if you don't like it, do something about it. And, you know, I'm not trying to promote violence or anything like that. I'm just saying what I would do, you know what I mean? Because as a man, you have to be a man first. You can't be no little boy. But we want some other, you know, opinions. And we're going to try to keep it under a minute with each caller. You know, we, we can't, this discussion can go for days and for hours. So let's, we're going to try to keep it down here the next couple of times. So we, we would like to hear from other people in the, uh, in the chat here, what your opinions and thoughts on what we just showed you. Do you feel that, you know, the N word is being taken too far? Do you feel that China Mac, you know, is wrong, you know, and, and the interviews that he had, you know, for saying what he said and trying to explain himself? In, in a manner to where he, he, he kind of make it seem like it's okay. You know, we want to hear from you guys. We want to hear what your thoughts are on it. We want to hear what your opinion is on it and whether or not, um, you know, this needs to continue, you know what I mean? Because we looked at it, you know, we, we kind of, you know, sat down and was really looking into it. And, um, you know, it's wrong. And especially when he called out Little Pump. You know, that was that was what really the, the, the straw man, that broke the camel's a, back. He's a sucker, man. He's a sucker. I don't, you know? I don't care about China Mac. Ana Mac, Wong Yong Yong, Chong Chong Fong Fong. Hey, man, I'm saying it. Do something about it. That's all I'm saying. You know, <laughs> but, you know, and, 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 and you know, going back, you know, it, 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 and this is the problem we have, you know, the problem we have in this, in this world is cultural differences, which is race. OK, there are, you know, differences. And it's even on the job. You know, you go to, you know, you go to your job, you see, in, you know, you see groups of people. Right. And normally in those groups of people, the races will hang out with those those groups. You'll have, you know, you'll have a clique here. You know, have, have African Americans here. You maybe have some Asians here. You'll have some Caucasians here. You know, you'll have some Indians here. So, real, you know, it, and, and it's all it's all about comfort. But this is this is the way it is, you know. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that way, you know. Yeah. In the workforce, it is like that, and it doesn't really have to be that way. And the reason why it's that way is because of the way the societies are set up. And making it think that we're all different when we're not. We're all from the same. Yeah, that's the number. Believe it or not, we're all from the same. Yeah, that is the number, Guardy. But you, you, you're absolutely right. You know what I mean? I feel your opinion on that, and it, it's just you know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not racist by far, and I have no problem with you know, Chinese people or Asian people, should I say? And but at the end of the day, when I feel like somebody is being a bully. You know what I mean? I'm going to speak on that, and, and that's just me. That's my personality. Yep. And if y'all don't like me for that, hey, it's cool. But at the end of the day, y'all going to do the same thing too. Right. So what if that was your brother that somebody was trying to bully and try to tell him what to do? How right. would you feel about that? What would you do about that? Right. And exactly. It's just, it's just crazy. And I'm just being real. I'm just going to say something. You know what I mean? If he don't like what I say, then, uh, oh, well, I'm not taking this down. You know what I mean? You're going to have to put a gun to my head and tell me to take it down, and I still won't take it down. So, <laughs> damn you. <laughs> you know, and, and, and the thing about it, you know, I, I, I want to really address the issue. You know, I don't want to really, we don't, we're here to address issues, and yes, it can, you know, see, these things can kind of get things heated, get other people talking, get, get people riled up and so forth, you know, and that's the thing, is to bring bring awareness to people, okay? It's about bringing awareness to people so that people can understand and see what we're trying to get across, you know? And yeah, of course, you know, s s people have things in them that they would like to say, okay? You know? Yeah. And that and that's the thing, you know? People would like to express themselves, you know? But it, it, it sometimes we can't do that. So, uh, caller, I mean, if anybody else wants to call in, uh, go ahead and give me a call. And uh, let's, let's broaden the horizons on this topic. We already have one individual calling from New York, okay? China, uh, Max hometown, so... You know, have, we would really appreciate other people calling in from other parts of the uh, the U.S. 
or the world or whatever. So if you have anything you want to say, go ahead and call in. You can leave a, a comment in the, in, the, in the comment section here and we can uh, address it and then we can talk about it. So, you know, we're really just trying to get a lot of uh, feedback on this topic, okay? <laughs> you, heard, you see what Ant-Man said? Yep. He know who to try. No. I agree with you on that, that, that man. Yep. <laughs> but you know, you know, and then the thing about it is, what I want to say, you know, th 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 this this word has been around since the 1500s, you know, and it carried all the way into the 1700s, which was used in American literature. It was used in a lot of different ways, and it did start to fade away uh, around the 1700s. But then it was brought back in to the 20th century, you know, particularly in the U.S., you know, and uh, its usage became unambiguously you know um uh it's just a racist uh, uh insult okay but you know what as 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 us black people man we always know how to turn a negative to something positive you know what i mean even though that word been around for so long you know what i mean it, it it's just to show you that we are strong you know what i mean and no matter what we do or no matter what we put our minds into we are strong but we have to get it like we have to get it together, you know what I mean? And it's just sad to say, like sometimes you know, we overlook things that need to be looked at. You know what I mean? And, and exactly. And and for all these other rappers that's out there that's seeing what's going on and not saying nothing about it or not speaking on it, it's like it's crazy, yo. You know what I mean? If I was up there, I'm definitely gonna say something about it. You know what I mean? I'm 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 at the I'm at the Low, I'm at the bottom right now, and I'm still saying something about it because I don't like it. It offends me. You know what I mean? It, it's not just about the word. It's just the action he took and try to prove something and making a video about it after that. Like, like you tough. Come on, man. You're not that tough, dude. Stop it. Yeah, you know, and and you know, the times that we're in, it's constantly changing. You know, technology is advancing at an exponential rate. There's a whole lot of things going on around us. And I feel that once we get past these racial indifferences, you know, we'll be able to carry on and go forward in the future. You know, this is what it's about is the future. And are we, you know, we have these little ones coming up in this era with technology and all that. So I would rather the focus be taken away from, you know, using, you know, looking at each other as, OK, this is, you know, Chinese or Japanese or, you know, Indian or, in, you know, black, Negro, whatever. You know, these things need to be kind of in my opinion i have to say my opinion put aside okay so we can advance as a, as a as a nation okay and as humans okay yeah that's very important is the advancement of humans so if anybody has any questions in the comment section we'll also take some questions in the comment section if you're not unable to call in maybe you're you know viewing us from another country so if you have a question and you speak english from the other country you can go ahead and put it over there in the comment section and we'll read it off and we'll we'll try to answer it in the best of our ability so you know and and and, and that's that's you know I know we kind of went off on a, on, a, on a huge tangent with the whole, um, you know, conversation, but getting back down to it, you know, my feeling towards China Mac, I feel that he was doing a lot of double talking. I didn't really, um, you know, especially on the quiet room, I really didn't feel like he was answering the questions directly, you know, double talking and, and kind of fumbling over, you know, words and, and falling on, you know, culture and race and environment. He didn't really elaborate on it. And I didn't really get a good feel that he understood what he was talking about. And then when Little Pump came out and made the statement that he made, you know, he got upset. You saw how angry he was. And yeah. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put those videos down in the comment section. I'm gonna put them all down in the comment section so you can see those videos. Watch them for yourself, and you be the judge. Um, like I said, man, we we just trying to really get to the you know to the bottom of of certain things. We want to make you know bring situational awareness to people. Okay. And it's not okay, you know. It's not okay to continue to use these words. There's a there's a rapper out there named by the name of Chance the Rapper. Okay, Chance the Rapper is a rapper that he doesn't use any profanity in his in his in his rap, and he's making a whole lot of money, you know. So that's one thing we have to get people in the mindset to think to show them that you don't have to use the N word or use all this profanity in your raps to make it. It's just not. It's a it's it's a, it's it's a it's a fallacy. It's not true. You can make it without using curse words and using other words that are derogatory towards a race of people you got anything on that mills yeah but you know at the end of the day man you ain't gonna make that money that you're looking for like other rappers that you know use these type of words in their lyrics and make millions and millions and millions right you know i mean chance the rapper he's a good rapper i'm not gonna, i'm not knocking him on that but you know that's what people love you know what i mean they love drama they love 
you know, dudes talking about bitches, hoes, nigga this, nigga that. You know, it's, it's just sorry for my language, but it's just reality. This is just the world we live in. This is what we like. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to hear. This is what motivates them to go out there and go get the money and do this and do that. Right. Hey, what can I say, man? You know, it's right. a new era. You know what I mean? I'm about to go someday. You know what I mean? Hopefully not soon, but I'm getting old. You know what I mean? And these kids out here today is they young and they're gonna do what they want to do. They, they and ain't nothing we can do about it unless we, you know, yeah. step up and try to show them the right way. Yeah. So you know we don't want to carry this thing out too much longer, but in closing, man, this is this is what really needs to I think really needs to happen. And like I say, you know, the way he acted when that statement was made on Little Pump's video. He did react how people normally would react, you know. But like I said, he's so comfortable, you know, in this environment. You know? And like I said, I'm, I, I can't sit here and uh, uh, say that, oh, it's cool. It's not It's not cool to me, really. It's not cool to me, you know. And, and that's the thing. We have to start looking at it as a, as, as a whole, looking at the situation and try to try to bring it to an end, you know, because the word is being used and it's just being used frivolously now. It doesn't have really it, it shouldn't really have any meaning to it because of the way it's being used but it still affects people and and, and especially the elder people that have been through these wars world war ii you know the tuskegee airmen a lot of these other af- groups of people african-americans that have been through things okay and they have to continue to hear this word pretty much until the day they die you know and it's 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 not it's not fair to me i mean i, I really don't think it's fair you know so, um, Mills, you got anything to say, man? I said my piece. And uh, China Mac, if you're out there, man, I really would like an apology. I know you probably ain't going to give me an apology because you probably think we're, you know, just stupid over here. But that's fine. That's fine. You know? <laughs> I ain't stupid. We ain't He's stupid. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> he that's fine. He's talking about culture's not a race. Who's dumb? Yep. <laughs> and like I say, if you want to respond to this video, we know we're going to get flack from it. We know we're going to get people coming at us and stuff. But you know what? At least somebody stepped up to the plate. I'm saying and, you got and that vest on, though, I got man. this vest on right here. I'm ready on. to go, buddy. <laughs> I'm ready to go. But, you know, at least somebody stepped up to the plate and spoke on it. Just like you stepped to the plate when a little pump made that statement about, you know, with the eyes down low and all that. I'm, we're stepping up to the plate, and we're confronting you about it and seeing what you got to say about it. So when you, when you come on here or if you ever see this video, explain it to us. I don't want to hear it in second person or first person or none of that, you know. And none of that, yeah. you know. Be real with it. Be be real with it. You know. Be a man with it. Yeah, and you gotta that's give it. me no apology, man. Damn you! I don't like you. You know what I mean? You you said what you said. You said how you felt, and you think you you. I think I guess you think you're a Chinese thug. I don't know, but at the end of the day, you know, people don't go that route, man. You know what I mean? It's not it's not good being a bully. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna get what you're looking for. You keep messing with that same guy. He's gonna give you what you're looking for, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be nothing pretty. Trust and believe that. But at the end of the day, man, I just want to let y'all know we do this for y'all. I love talking crap. That's just me. My boy Wise, he got the knowledge, and he's gonna give it to y'all blood raw. And this is the Bird Talk TV show. I like to say to all my Haitian fellas out there and women, Saka Fet, Bon Nuit, Not Pale Encore. <laughs> That's right. All right, y'all. We out, man. Peace, love, and harmony in 2019. And Peace. we out, y'all. Peace out. What it do, it, 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 it's Bird Talk TV. Now rocking with the best. Ah! We give you the facts with no shade. Wise and Mills. Keep, keep keeping it real. All damn day, every day.